Hi, welcome to another video. Just yesterday, Quen 2 was released to the public. If you don't know, Quen is a group of models made by Alibaba's team. These are generally available and open source models, and they have a good reputation in the open source LLM community because they are really good. One of their models, Code Quen, is particularly amazing. Today, they announced a new generation of their models, Quen 2. They have released several models like Quen 2 0.5 billion parameter model, 1.5 billion parameter model, 7 billion parameter model, 57 billion parameter model, and 72 billion parameter model. These models are trained on 27 languages besides English and Chinese. They claim that these models have state-of-the-art performance in a large number of benchmark evaluations. We'll look at these in depth later. They also claim significantly improved performance in coding and mathematics. The models now support an extended context length of up to 128K tokens with Quen 27B Instruct and Quen 272B Instruct. The models are now available on Hugging Face and Model Scope and also on a llama, so you can try them out from there as well. In the shared table, you can see that the 0.5B model has a 32K context, 1.5 billion parameter model also has a 32K context, the 7B model has a 128K context, the 57B model has a 64K context, and the 72B model has a 128K context. The models I'm most excited about are these three smaller ones, because I believe small models are the future. They are small and can run on almost any device these days. We'll check them out later in the video. Another great thing is that they have implemented GQA in all the models, so the inference should be much faster without a loss in quality. Next, these are the languages that it now supports. It supports almost 29 languages. Now, let's look at its benchmarks. Here, they have shared the benchmark of the 72B model. And as you can see, it beats Llama 3 and Mixtral in nearly every benchmark. It's really cool. In some benchmarks, it beats them by a lot. For example, in the Human Evil benchmark, it scores 64.6, while Llama 3 scores 48.2, and Mitral is even lower. Do you know what Human Evil tests for? It tests for coding, which means it's going to be really great at coding as well. It should also be great at reasoning and math, unlike me. The benchmarks are really interesting. In the Instruct variant, it also performs well, but lags a little in the MBPP and GSM 8K benchmarks. So, the Instruct variant is slightly lacking, but it's still great. Now, let's look at the 7B model benchmarks, because that's what I'm most excited about. In the 7B benchmarks, it beats Llama 38B and GLM 49B in most benchmarks, but lags in the MMLU and Math benchmarks. However, it scores high in the Human Evil benchmark at 79.9, indicating it will be extremely good at coding. I'm excited. Those were the benchmarks. You can also look at these other charts. They also tested it on the Needle and Haystack problem and it performed great in those benchmarks as well. So, that's also cool. Although, they haven't released enough benchmarks for the smaller models. Another thing is the license. All the models, except the 72B model, come under the Apache 2.0 license, which is pretty cool. Now, let's check it out. They don't have a specific site where you can test it, but they do have a hugging face space where you can try it out. So, let's try it from there. If we go to the hugging face space, you'll see this page. This is the 72B instruct variant. So, let's try it out now. First, let's start with something basic. Let's ask it to write a Python program that takes two inputs 
adds them and divides them. Okay, I've prompted it. Let's send it and see what it outputs. It's pretty fast. You can see that we have the output here. It's well created and explains the program and its implementation. Pretty cool. Now let's give it a harder task. Let's ask it to create a game of life that works in the terminal and in Python. Okay, let's send it and see if it can create it. We have the code here. It looks good at first glance. But to check it, we'll need to run it. So, let's copy this and try to run it. Hmm, it gives an error here. It seems like it failed. Let's give it the error and see if it can fix it. Okay, we have new fixed code here. Let's copy it and run it. Okay, this one works. It's really amazing. So, it can do these tasks pretty easily. I'm not an expert model tester or anything, but it looks pretty amazing. I'm already using CodeQuen as my co-pilot, as you know if you've watched my previous video. So, this is going to be really cool as well. Let's also try the 7 billion, 1.5 billion, and 0 0.5 billion models. First, let's try the 7 billion parameter model. I've given it the same prompt to create a Python program. As you can see, it gives the correct output. I'm only testing its basic capabilities and not diving into advanced things here. You can see it gives a pretty good response, and it's really fast as well. Now, let's try the next 1.5 billion model. I'm really excited to check this one because it's going to be really interesting to see if it can do basic coding. Let's send the same prompt. As you can see, it gives a very similar output. It's really amazing. I think this will be really cool with Copilot. It's really amazing. Now let's try the next one, which is even smaller, the 0 0.5 billion parameter model. I've sent the same prompt again. As you can see, it's really fast, and we have the code here. It's also very correct. So, it's really amazing to see these extremely small models being able to code. I think these small models are going to be the future because they can run on any computer. Let me know in the comments if you guys want a co-pilot video with these models. I think it will be really cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts about these models in the comments. Also, if you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below this video. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.